Hello guys and welcome back to Jam Chemistry class. This is chemistry, a beautiful subject. All right, and of course in today's class we are going to be looking at the magnetic or the third quantum number, magnetic quantum number. All right, before now, we have seen that there are four quantum numbers that Nebor used to, of course, uh, describe the result of his experiment or to explain the result of his experiment. The principal quantum number, the azimuthal or the subsidiary quantum number, the magnetic quantum number, and the spin quantum number. This, of course, we have discussed in previous episodes, the principal quantum number and the azimuthal quantum number. And in this episode, we are looking at the magnetic quantum number. Do not forget that this video tutorial is brought to you by O3 School Jam CBT Practice Application. It is being displayed on your screen right now. It has all the past questions that you need for your exam, the recent past questions that you need for the exam. All right. And then it has some wonderful features that you may not want to miss. One of those features is the Jam UTME Challenge. That challenge is for all students writing Jam for this year. So once you have the app, you are welcome to participate, right? To win, to compete and win prizes, right? So you are competing with <laughs> Jam Byte that are writing the exam for this year. It's not just you alone, right? So it's, it's like a mock exam. Uh, apart from uh, the competitive side of the of the of the challenge you also use it to, uh, to gauge your preparedness for the examination and that is why you do not want to joke with this app activation of the app is just 2500 naira it's a one time payment once you paid you are paid it will be fully activated for you provided you do not use your own hand to delete the, the app from your phone or flash your phone if you flash your phone it's gone you have to reactivate again so you have to be very very careful of that aside that the app remains forever activated on your phone all right enough about the app let's head to head let's head back to what we have for today the magnetic quantum number from the name from the name what does it suggest the from the name already it suggests that what uh, it describes the word the magnetic property of an electron the magnetic property property of an electron so the magnetic quantum number as the name suggests describes the magnetic property of an electron right apart from the description it's what it it tells us about how an electron will behave when the electron is placed in the magnetic field right so it tells us the behavior of an electron when it is placed in a what in a magnetic work field it's very very important to know that what that the magnetic quantum number is abbreviated with the letter m all right so the magnetic quantum number it's abbreviated with the letter what m now the most the other important part you want to know is what is the values right so m right has values occurring in the range of what minus l to plus l so m has values occurring in the ranges of what minus l to what plus l for each value of l for each value of l m has a value of minus l to what plus l for each value of l this means that if l is what uh, zero if l is what is zero that means that what m m will also be what be zero why let's see the range of zero if you put zero here this is what minus zero to what plus what to plus zero from minus zero to plus zero is not simply zero so it's still zero so m um, sorry l when l is zero m equals what zero because a range of minus zero to zero is simply what zero you get now let's see what about if l is one if l is one if l is one you have a range of what minus one to what plus one now that means that what m will have what more than one value so from minus one is what minus one then you have that minus one is what is zero you reach zero first when i get to what plus one so m we have what three values of what uh for for a value of what l equals to one now if l is two for example if l sorry if l is what is two then you are going to have um 
from what now? Minus L, that is minus 2. To what? Plus L, that is what? For plus 2. Isn't it? Now, the values will be what? Minus 2. After minus 2, you get to what? Minus 1. Then you get to 0. Then you get to 1. And what? And 2. So this will be the values of what? Of M. Is that clear? So let's go over this again. But before we continue, please do not forget to like this video. When you like this video, other students like you will find this video. It will, they will easily find the video and assess it and learn from it. If you subscribe to this YouTube channel, subscription is free. Do not think subscription means you are paying money. You are not paying money to any to anybody. You are not paying money to YouTube to subscribe. Subscription is free. What is the importance of subscription? When you subscribe, it means that what? Whenever we publish a new video like this, you'll be the first to know. You'll be notified via your phone notification that O3 Schools has published a new video. And of course, do not forget to share this video to your class group, to your, to your jam classes, and so on and so forth, so that they can also benefit. Now, let's get over to it again. Like I said, the magnetic quantum number describes what uh, the, the magnetic property of an electron. And I said it's abbreviated as M. And has values occurring in the range, in the range, the range, in the range of what minus L to what to plus L for each value of L. So, so that when L is zero, the values of M of all range from minus zero to plus zero. And when L is one, the value of uh, M will range from minus one to plus one. And when L is two, the values of what uh, M will range from minus two to plus two. Now, Let's now see the uh, the last part of this. Now, for any value of n, n is principal quantum number. For any value of n, m, m now has a what a value of n square as a value of what a total of what of, of a total of a total of n square possible values now for any value of n principal quantum number m has a what total value of what n square possible values for m there's a total for n square possible values for what for m for any value of n it gets so if for example if m is equal to 2 or n is equal to 4 this means that what m we have what a total possible value of what of 2 square that is 4 or 4 square that is what 16 possible value for m Now, get this clearly. For any possible, for for any value of n, that is, for any value, any principal uh, quantum number value of n, right? M has a value of n square, a total of what n square possible values, a total of n square possible values. Now, if for example, if n is two or n is four, that means n square will be what two square, which is four, or four square, which is what sixteen possible values for what for m. Now, you see that, if you see clearly, you see that the magnetic quantum number is very, very easy, right? Also, finding the values are very, very easy since you know the range of value of occurrence of what? Uh, of the m, of m values to the word minus l to what? To plus l for each value of l. And I said also that the magnetic quantum number uh, describes or shows what? The behavior of an electron when placed in a magnetic field. Now, that is all that we have to do about the magnetic quantum number. And in the next class, we are going to see the last quantum number, which is the spin quantum number. See you in the next class.